I run straight home. Sweat me, man. I want detail. No time now. Seems pretty heavy. Hey. Ready for the big score? I'll tell you when. Okay, uh, got a split. Just be handy when I need you. Three good people got hurt today. We lost bread and slips. With this heat, we better pay the regulars who claim they hit. You're talking some big bucks, man. No shit. This whole scene is costing. Can you dig it? Hey, there's no line on them at all. We don't even know who's behind it or where they're coming from. I want answers, bro. And I want them fast. We've been trying. Trying my ass. Trying don't mean shit. I pay big bucks for you to keep my territory running smooth. They come out of nowhere, they hit hard, they hit fast, and then they split. They leaving any rumors on the street? Let it be known how well we pay for information. Calvin, change the routes, change the pickups, and change the drops. That's no small job. You think you're not running? It can't hurt to throw a few curves. If you can't protect the old routes, what are you going to do with the new ones? Things have been cool for a long time. Then zap, all of a sudden, get ripped off all over town. Somebody wants this territory bad. You don't think changing the roots will solve the problem, do you? No, but it should buy us some time. Buy as much muscle as we need and protect our people. We can't be in every newsstand and store in town. Cut the bullshit. Get out and do your job. Check in later with Calvin for the new roots. He's right, King. You need an army. Then we'll get an army. Well, who's going to pay for the army, man? That's going to bleed us, too. This is the only way I get out and figure out those new routes. This is Velvet Smooth. I am not available at the moment. But if you wish to leave a message, you may do so at the sound of the tone. Velvet, this is King. Very urgent. I must see you tonight. I'll be at your place at 11. Velvet Smooth! <laughs> With love or with none. When you know, when you know your time has come. Oh! Mama, looking at you sure makes business a pleasure. 
Keep looking, baby. I get paid by the hour. Drink? I could use one. Word has it. You got big troubles. That's why I called. I didn't figure this was a social call. I heard the newsstand was ripped apart, and Eddie got pretty beaten up today. You don't miss a trick, do you? That's a word I rarely use. My business is to know what's happening. I'm really up against the wall, Mama. I'm being ripped off all over town. I mean, my whole organization is shaky. You say the word, and I'm in. I said the word when I called. All the way? I've got no choice. You name it. I have to know every step of your operation, top to bottom. Players, runners, bagman roots, the works. You never needed that information before. You never called me in on anything this big before. Okay, Calvin will lay out the whole operation for you. You got any ideas? I'm blank. Whoever it is is a stranger trying to move in. And succeeding. Right. Is there anybody in your organization you don't trust? It doesn't figure to be inside. We've had a good thing going for a long time. I don't screw my people, and they don't screw me. Money and power do strange things to people. Don't discount anyone. You've been around too long to trust even your own mother. But I'm trusting you, lady. I'm on the case. How soon can I start looking at the operation? Right now, Martinez is out making collections and Calvin's back at the office going over new routes. You're covered, Papa. Move out, bro. I've got work to do. Call me first thing. Kidding. Get Frankie too. Oh, come on. I have an exam tomorrow. Hey, play lawyer some other time. This is really big. Sounds heavy. I'll be right over. I'm waiting on you. Okay. You get so busy, I'm never gonna get my law degree. Midnight. It's for you. You're busting up a beautiful night, Rhea. What's happening? Right on. I'm on my way. Oh. Sorry about that. Oh. Frankie. Ah, oh, shit. What am I supposed to do?
keep hitting those law books, Rita, and you'll be on the Supreme Court by next year. <laughs> we always wanted someone on the inside. Mm. Okay, Velvet, fill me in. This sounds big. Did you get Frankie? Oh, yes. I certainly did. Mm. She'll be here any minute. There's coffee in the kitchen. Help yourself. Thank you. It's open, Frankie. Come on in. Hey, what's happening? Hey. Frankie, you made it. No, baby, you interrupted there. <laughs> <laughs> King Lathrop was here. He's got big troubles. That's no news. We've been hired to pull him out. That's big time action. We're a big time crew. Right. <laughs> Rhea, King's accountant Calvin Christopher is waiting for you. I want you to go over King's operation, piece by piece. If there's a dime in the wrong column, I want to know it. What about people? I'm hoping something will grab you. By the way, the whole thing is laid out. Frankie, Martinez is out making collections. Shadow him. Check out every move he makes. You should be leaving King's in about 15 minutes. Don't let him know you're there. I'm cool, Mama. I'll just go out and do my thing. What are you doing, Velvet? I'm going to head up to Matt's place. There's always information where the action is. Don't bruise your knuckles on the crap table. <laughs> Tonight's all business. See you later. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay. holding out? It's all there. Why don't you figure it out? You know, you're really a pleasure to work with. Hey, you're not here at my request. Hey, I thought we were on the same side. I don't need any help doing my job. From the looks of things, if you don't get some help, you won't have a job. Well, King should be buying muscles and not secretaries. <laughs> You'd be amazed at my skills. Mm -hmm. Now, let me see the new list of boots. Uh -uh. Nobody sees that. Don't argue with me, Calvin. Just do it. I'm still working on that, but I should be finished by tomorrow if you feel like crying some more. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be back. Not if I have anything to say about it. I'm sure you won't. Hello? Yeah, hold on. I'll be right with you. Excuse me. This is private. Naturally. Yeah, what's happening? Yeah, my guest just split. Oh, 
Wow, they really blew it. They didn't even get the bread? I know that puts us behind schedule. Right. Yeah, I'll set that up right now. Right. chips as usual. You gonna buy me a drink? Sure, baby, anytime. I knew you were working. Figures. What's up? I suppose you heard about King. Well, his problems are now my problems. That's a hard point, baby. Can I help? Have you seen any strange dudes hanging around? Notice any unusual action on the street? Everyone is getting a little edgy, but no one knows where it's coming from. I know. All I've done is hit blank walls. No one seems to be holding out, but they just don't know. Well, off to the wars. See you later. Sure. I'll need a little R&R. &R. from your clients list now, we're going to drop you. You hear me, bitch? <laughs> Fuck you! It's your last chance, ho. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Oh! <laughs> 
visitors. Looks like open warfare. On two fronts, Calvin really gave me a bad time. That's strange. He did show you everything you needed, right? Reluctantly. It was obvious King laid down the law to cooperate with mm -hmm. me, and Calvin resented it. Any reason for him to be uptight? Everything was in the right place. It certainly looked legit, but he really seemed like he was trying to hide something. I don't know. He just sent off bad vibes. Nothing you could grab onto, though, huh? No, not really. The only thing that wasn't complete were the new roots. But it figures he wouldn't have time to finish them. I think he's going to queer our deal with King. No sweat. King knows where it's at. Hello? Been trying to get you. Martinez is home free. He has no idea why. But he is. What does that mean? Uh, some heavy dudes backed him in a corner. I did a little cleanup job, and his prayers were answered. Are you OK? Yeah, a little rough around the edges, but I'll survive. Did you get a look at any faces? Yeah, but they're not from around here. I didn't recognize any of them. Uh, Velvet, if nothing else is happening tonight, I have a very sick friend in bed. Send him my regards. All right. Good morning, Mama. How you doing, Papa? Nice seeing you. Oh, guess you had a busy night. We all had our hands full. I got a fresh pot of coffee. Want some? Sounds good. How do you take it? <laughs> Any way I can get it. <laughs> <laughs> King. Not now, woman. I'm busy. I can see that. I can see that. I guess you had your hands full, too. I always try to keep busy. Come on, fill me in. I mixed things up pretty good last night. Oh, really? I heard things were good at Matt's place. So you had your own little detective agency working, huh? Right. <laughs> things were quiet at Matt's, but they got a little more interesting when I got home. OK, lay it on me. There was a welcoming party waiting. Five badass dudes. Shit. <laughs> they were sent to warn me off. By who? That's the wild part. They didn't know who sent them, and their main man wasn't there. Well, but whatever he is, he really gets his info fast. <laughs> but in Frankie's case, not <laughs> fast enough. You heard. Martinez didn't know who it was. He described a female whirlwind. When Frankie stepped in, he put his ass in gear and ran. Is Frankie okay? She's all right. That was a new route for Martinez, right? 
You know it was, top of the list. Who else but Calvin knew the roots? Me, and I guess Rhea. Hey, Velvet, what are you getting at? Calvin played a very strange scene with Rhea last night. What do you mean, strange? Maybe hostile, a better word. No, he's a tight ass. He called me this morning after Rhea left, moaning about us opening up for big trouble letting anybody know our sister. Rhea felt it was more than that. Hey, he's my man. He's been moving from the beginning. Listen, Velvet, we grew up in this thing together. Calvin does his thing, and this is the first time I've interfered. It figures he'd be uptight. I don't know. It's just something. Good. Hello, Miss Smooth. Good morning. We have some coffee, bro. We're trying to figure last night. I don't need any help. I can figure it out. Oh, cut the shit. Velvet works for me. We're in this together, bro. Yeah, and we've done all right. We've come a long way together. Without any broads nosing around our business. Hey, brother. We're looking to help. We couldn't give one shit about the numbers game. Hey, look, King, I don't care about Velvet working the streets. Any place else she can help. She can't help my end. Now keep her out. Slow down, bro. Look, it's got to be my way. Or maybe you don't trust me anymore. OK. You got it. Understand? You make the rules, baby. It's your turf. I bet settle, I can get to work. Don't worry about Calvin. He's cool. Oh! <laughs> 
Post 37 requesting ambulance assistance. Stay back here, would you mind? Yo, stay back here. Go ahead. Get back here, buddy. Over here. Take care of this. Keep these people back here. The ambulance is on the way. This guy doesn't need an ambulance. He's just taking a quick trip to the mall. Where are the guys from the left? They're on the way. Any witnesses? No one saw it happen. Right, just like my brother's an only child. What did you do? Make a public announcement for witnesses? Well, I asked around in the crowd. You need witnesses. Why didn't you take an ad in the newspaper? Hey, what's bugging you, Lieutenant? You know people down here clam up when they see a cop. You don't make public announcements for witnesses. They cleaned him out. Yeah, you think robbery was the motive, huh? No, right in your book it was a 1040. This character was a bag man for King Lathrop. Numbers rack. Really? Another month or two and you might learn what's going on in this precinct. Bust up this crowd. Say, Lieutenant. How did you know that was one of Lathrop's men? When you've been around as long as I have, you get to know every face. Really? OK, bust up this crowd. What are you doing in this neighborhood? Come on in. As usual, King. This is not a social call. That's right, Lady. Cool it! I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I haven't been introduced to your new partner. That's right, King. King, this is Sergeant Barnes, the next police commissioner. What can I do for you, Ramos? Your boy, Rodriguez. Got it. <clears throat> sorry, Lieutenant. Familiar name, but I just... Don't give us that crap, Lathrop. Don't play games with me, King. I know you've got big trouble down here lately. I don't know what you mean, Lieutenant. Things are cool in the neighborhood as far as I know. Who do you think you're kidding, Lathrop? Kidding? You're the only joke in this room. Easy. You're stepping all over the man's constitutional rights. You try that again, pig, and I'll chew you up and spit you out. Nobody pulls that shit on me. Relax, King. Or I'll bust both of you up. All right, Lieutenant. Let me lay it out straight. Sure, I know Rodriguez, and I'm sorry he got hit. But I don't know who iced him or why. The picture of innocence. That's it for now, King. But hang loose, because I want to see you again. Drop it any time. Sergeant Barnes. 
been in place. Calvin, come in here. I've got some important business. If I'd known Rodriguez was on the street, I might have been able to help. It hurts. He was a decent guy. There was no way of knowing. He wasn't on Calvin's list. Maybe that's why his name was missing. Then you think my feelings were right. I thought so, right from the go. No way to get King to see it. He's convinced that Calvin's completely loyal. That's a pretty dangerous position to take. Mm. Let's figure out a way to set Calvin up and prove it one way or the other. Yeah, but Calvin's a number two man. Will always be a number two man. I don't think he has the balls to cross King alone. Then who the hell could he be working for? Find out fast. It's tough enough getting ripped off. Right. Well, when we lose the key, man, I guess that means war. Right. What's the next move? Finding the enemy. You have any ideas, Calvin? Uh, no, it beats me. I just can't figure it out. I've got a few ideas. You mean that bitch Velvet? How do you figure she's involved? Rhea saw the new roots. They knew where Rodriguez would be. Rodriguez's name wasn't on the list you showed Rhea. What are you trying to say? Let me ask you this. Why would Velvet save Martinez's ass and turn around at Rodriguez? What are you driving at, King? Here into logic, Calvin. What does it tell you? It tells me you're talking in circles, King. Logic tells me the trouble's right here. You mean someone on the inside? Not someone. You! Well, I... Fuck up. What are you talking about, man? I'm talking about my old friend, my brother, Calvin Christopher. You're crazy, King. I wouldn't hurt you. Motherfucker. Oh, no, King, you're wrong. There's no other answer. It's got to be you. Good oh, man, Calvin. No, King. Oh, please, King. Please. Please. I'm going to give you a break. I'm going to let you live. But if I ever see your ass, I'm going to break your fucking face with my bare hands. You hear me? Now get the fuck out! Three to one, it's King. Velvet smooth. Velvet? I just cleaned house. We've been discussing just that. It was Calvin, wasn't it? Yeah. I almost killed the son of a bitch. I'm surprised you didn't. Open up a bottle of champagne. Then sign up for unemployment. Do you really think that's the end of it? You know it, Mama. I just cut out the cancer. You think Calvin was in this alone? It figures. I'm not just looking for work, baby. But my intuition tells me that Calvin was not the main man. I don't buy that. Let's just call it a day. You're the boss. See you later, Mama. Just dumped Calvin, right? You heard it. As far as Kane's concerned, we're off the case. Are we? No way. Where do we go from here? Let's start with the night off. Good. I have a lot of studying to catch up on and a week's worth of laundry to do. And I have a lot of laundry to undo. I hear you. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. Say hello to Matt. Nice. Bye.
finding you. Beautiful as always. Thank you. Let me get that. Sure. Hey, baby, you get what you were looking for? Tonight, I'm here to party. You must have wrapped things up pretty quick. They don't call me smooth for nothing. Hey, lady. You keep talking to the help, and I'm going to be out of business. Is that any way to greet your best customer? How about if I buy my best customer a drink? You're on, Pop. to believe. Yeah, ma'am. But as far as I'm concerned, the case is not really closed. Feminine intuition. Detective intuition. I worry about you, baby. I'd hate to see one of these cases blow up in your face. Take King's bread and move on to something else. Can't do it, honey. I just know. Yeah, you always know. Glass is empty, Matt. I know a nice, quiet place where you can take my mind off the case. Velvet, you know I can't split. Have I lost my chance? Have I lost my mind? Yeah, Matt. I'm going to split with Velvet. Okay, Matt. I'll take your things while you go.
And my body, my body, it aches when you're not around. Oh, baby. Yeah. Can I mix you a drink, man? On the house. Yes, I'd love one.
the wall. What the hell did you do? I warned him, but he refused to stop. He refused to stop, so you shot him? I fired a warning shot, but he kept going. Warning? He didn't have a chance, pig. Listen, Lathrop, if you're looking for trouble, I'll give it to you. Put that gun away, you dumb son of a bitch. You've caused enough damage for today. Damage? I was carrying out my duty as a police officer. <laughs> you better watch your ass on the street, baby. Everybody hates a trigger happy cop. He wasn't even armed. He should have stopped when I warned him. That's funny. I didn't hear any warning. Listen, you, I don't have to explain to anyone. Except to me, right? Call the wagon, clean up those people in the back room. Don't forget to read them their rights. What about these four? These four concerned citizens who were trying to help the department? I'll take care of them. This was really stupid. I should lock you all up in the slammer to cool down. I guess my problem's over. Permanently. Let's hope so, but I really doubt it. All right, beat it out of here. I got a big mess to clean up. Thanks, Dan. your new partner. I take it my calling card has arrived. You son of a bitch. Cool it, bro. I mean business. I've been picking apart your operation for a reason. That reason is simple. I'm taking over your numbers game. I'm taking over your whole territory and everything in it. Listen, you. I'm going to give you a break. You're a bright boy, King. So I'm going to give you a chance to keep a nice piece of the action. What do you have in mind? It's about time we meet face to face. I want to make a deal. Okay, brother. You name the time and place. No time like the present. Meet me on the roof of the MTA building. Alone. I wouldn't have it any other way. Some points. 
joint You crossed up Somebody who Will never Give up on you He's coming To get you now There's just no Escape no how Lathrop. Oh, shit. Come on. Well, this is the appropriate day for a meeting. The angels are crying for you already. As a police officer, I'm merely doing my duty. Keep the streets safe. Law and order, you know? My laws and my orders. Double cross pig. Listen good, Lathrop. I let you live because I can use you. Nobody uses me. You're not as smart as I thought you were, Lathrop. Shut up and listen. <laughs> I've got you by the balls and you know it. I'm willing to let you keep a percentage of the operation and all you got to do is be my friend. You're going to take care of me like you took care of Calvin? Calvin? Calvin was a fool. He panicked. I deal dirty, but I don't deal with scum like you. Deal with me or die. Ha ha ha!
Lieutenant Ramos. Ramos, it's Velvet. Trouble? I don't know. I've been trying to reach King all morning, and there's no answer. He's always at home at this hour. Relax, beautiful. He's a big boy. I don't know. I've got a gut feeling. There's been too much happening. If you're that uptight about it, I'll get a hold of Barnes and we'll check out the neighborhood. No, I'd like to talk to you. Start talking. Not on the phone. I'll be down in a few minutes. Anything you say, beautiful. I'm walking down the street. I, this guy bumps into me, and all of a sudden, my wallet is gone. What do you look like? I, He's, a, I don't know, he's about your height, so, you know, close to that. Some, his head? Uh, dark, dark. I, I filled that a lot out of what he looked like? I put that on the form. The oh. guy... I don't like what's been happening, Ramos. No sweat. It'll cool off. I'm getting pressure from both sides. The heat's on from downtown, and the activity in the street looks like an all-out war. They've got no beef downtown. We call it half a dozen yesterday. Yeah, but they were all small potatoes, except for one guy, and he's on a slab. That couldn't be helped. Don't hand me that shit. Every man in the precinct's a little uptight. When an unarmed man gets shot in the back, it makes the whole department look bad. You worry about public relations, and I'll worry about the street. <laughs> Ramos, we've been knocking around together for a long time, so I'll play it your way. But don't fuck up. I haven't blown it yet. Army Captain! You don't waste any time, do you? What's I... on your mind, Velvet? I have a feeling I'm being left out of something. I'll leave you two alone. I've got some uh, public relations to worry about. God damn it, you're breaking my arm. Hey, punk, quiet down. Fucking pig. Did you read him his rights yet? Yeah. You have the right to remain silent. <clears throat> you have a right to an attorney. Think about it, will you? Please. How much do you know about your new partner? Well, he's hot headed. He makes mistakes, but I think he's going to be all right. But he's trigger happy. The first time since he's been on the job that he's used his gun. You remember the first time you shot someone? Yeah, it shook the hell out of me. I dropped to my knees, held a guy in my arm, and then I put him down. That's what bothers me. Barnes didn't lick an eye. What are you driving at, Velvet? I'm not sure, but I think Barnes got rid of Calvin. I think Barnes is working for somebody else besides the department. That's pretty heavy, Velvet. I don't make those kind of statements lightly. I don't buy it. Where's the bright boy now? I don't know. I haven't seen him all morning. That's strange. I haven't been able to reach King all morning either. Bullshit. One thing has nothing to do with the other. I think it does. That's why I'm here. I just don't buy it, Velvet. You're drawing that straw. At least trust me enough to check it out. I'll check it out, but don't expect anything. I never expect anything. I'll see you later. Hey, what's your rush? I'll buy you a cup of coffee. Thanks for the offer, but I'm going back to look for King. Oh, excuse me. By no means, baby. Excuse me. It was just a little smash up. What did the other car do? Hit you in the face? The dumb son of a bitch hit me from behind. I went <laughs> to the windshield. I'm okay. It was just a minor accident. Did you see the doctor? Yeah. Good old Snyder patched me up. Say, Lieutenant, if you don't need me right now, I am a little shaken up. All right. Take it easy for the day. Catch up on some of your paperwork, then go home. Thanks, Lieutenant. Hold it, 
king. Put that gun away, Barnes. I can't do that, Ramos. You shouldn't have followed me here. Now you're a dead man. You're not gonna be that stupid, are you, Barnes? You give me no choice. Where the hell is Lee? What are you doing here? You tell us! Shit. I knew it couldn't have been him on the phone. Why not? You figured out, bitch. I'm going to come down on you so hard and mess you up so bad that you're going to beg me to stop so you can tell me everything I want to know. Fuck you. Excuse me, let me take care of this. Get out of my way. He's mine. Get this son of a bitch. Stay alive.
king. If you won't cause any more trouble, the king is dead. He's what? Dead, lady, and I did him in myself. Ramos, king is dead. Yeah, I heard the whole thing. You knew it was Bonds all along, didn't you? I had a gut feeling it was him. So I figured I would set him up and let him do the rest. It puts me in a tough spot. Everything was going so smooth, so slick. Now that King's dead, I'll have to get another front for my numbers operation. <laughs>